In this video, I'm going to be installing a rear disc guard made by PSR. And it looks kind of like this. just kind of want to give you a close-up of it. Um, I didn't really record very much audio when I was doing it, so whatever, I'm doing this voiceover thing. But it's pretty nice. It uh, comes in a couple different pieces, so if you end up bashing up that bottom, you can replace it over time. So... Um, that's kind of nice, I guess. Anyway, it seems pretty solid. Mm -hmm. More looks. And here's a look at the old one. And I've already taken this uh, this screw, this bolt back. It's an 11 millimeter. You could see on the threads it had some blue stuff on there. That's the old Loctite. So we're going to need to get that off. I'm going to use some. Uh, I'll show you at the end this cleaner I use. Anyway, just kind of showing you up close of what the brake pads look like before I disassemble everything. There's this little clip on the bottom you need to put um, on the other one. And uh, yeah, you can kind of see the clip on the back there. Uh, it's positioned. I'll show it in a second with the uh, brake pads out. But, uh, all right, so yeah, here's uh, both the brake pads out. And I'm going to. Yes, soon as I'm done moving them around for you to look at, I'm going to drop them back in where they go. So they kind of just, uh, they just drop back in and they sort of catch on that end tab and they're held in by a pin, which I'll show you right here. It has a couple holes in it and in those holes you put in uh, what are those things called? Ah, there's a name for them, but they're these little clips. So I'll show you them in a second. And they look like that. So there's two of them. There's the first one. The second one goes um, kind of in the back there. Sorry, I had a little shaky on the camera. And here's a, there's a, a good view of that back metal clip, which tends to pop out on you. So you can kind of see here. This is how everything had settled down. Came from the factory. I haven't taken this apart yet. And... Uh, so, you know, if you're taking yours apart and those springs pop out, you can kind of, I don't know, if it doesn't fit back together, you can look at this video. So uh, the brake kind of floats on, uh, or kind of floats on these um, bars there, and you're going to want to lube those up with some grease. And that little rubber grommet that I just pointed to comes off the old one, and you put that one on the new one. It just kind of pops in and pops out. Uh, make sure to put the brake line back in. So I used a torque wrench and a foot pounds. This one is like SK, I don't know, made in USA, whatever. And another one, uh, another uh, wrench, I guess, for breaking the back tire free. You need two flathead screwdrivers, mainly for getting uh, uh, the brake pads, those clips back in if you need to, because I popped them out. Uh, you need 11 millimeter wrench for undoing the brake. Uh, I didn't show up, but you'll need this 27 millimeter for getting the back tire off. And I use this little 8 millimeter for jamming in the chain when I'm putting the tire back on to make sure it's uh, all tight. You can kind of see that on one of my other videos, but I didn't show that here. You need a wire brush to clean up those threads, um, some waterproof grease to grease up those slides, um, some gloves to keep your hands. You probably need some towels too. And this is Loctite 243. That's what you use for, um, well, I should say that's what the manual calls out for, uh, for brake whatever threads and you want to use this uh, Loctite cleaner and get those threads real clean before you put more Loctite on there don't just put uh, new Loctite on top of old Loctite they say it's not good and that's my vid uh, here's a picture of it when it's all done and I don't know I think it looks pretty cool and hopefully will save me bent rotors when I'm um, you know riding like I do, which I'm not very. Good. I'm not a great rider, and I tip my bike over and I smash it into rocks sometimes on accident. So, mm. anyway, uh, let's see here. What's next? Ah, uh, just showing off more. I got some different lights. So that's pretty much the end of the video. You can stick around here if you want to watch some, me walk around it a little bit more. Show you what it looks like. Uh, definitely, I don't know. It was a little bit pricey. It's probably like a little over a hundred bucks. So, you know, I don't know. Sometimes I just, I do stupid things and buy things that cost a hundred bucks. Probably there's, I've seen other ones you can get for cheaper and they kind of bolt onto the 
to the stock parts. You know, you don't have to take the whole thing apart like this one, but this thing seems pretty solid.